Hey, what's up, folks? Ada here. Um, in this quick tutorial, not real quick, I don't know, uh, we're gonna talk about how to create your first logo for your website, blog, or YouTube channel, whatever. So, what we will be use today is a Photoshop CS6, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't really matter which one will you use because we're not gonna use a lot of things from here. So, first of all, um, let's think. What kind of a logo will we do? I mean, for what? Let's say if you want to have the logo for your blog or website, um, I'm gonna go to my website. So how can you see here? Um, I got the logo with blood. It's pretty simple. I found some pictures online. Just put some effects on it. How can you see? So I must see what um, what size is, is it? Is it 300 to 100? So let's create new file with these sizes that we just saw so um, first of all you'll need to know your um, company name or blog name so what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna put my let's say yeah my website website's name birdave.com or just birdave doesn't really matter for me and which font I'm gonna use is called Movie Layers. You can find it online. Let's go here. Just gonna type Movie Layers font, and you see it's here. Just clicking and downloading is pretty much the same. It is the same. So let's type rdf.com and move it kind of right here. Because we're gonna put something different right here. And what you will want to do is, uh, we're gonna go to this website. It's iconspedia.com. There's a lot of um, free licensed icons you can use, and just other icons icons you can use as well. So what we're gonna type? Let's say um, your blog is about cars. So we're gonna type cars here, and wait a bit. It'll be loaded. Not actually. We're gonna put car because from the movie uh, so let's find just a simple icon that we can take and use it um, let's see you see and there's a lot of pages you can just look for whatever you want uh, let's say let's say I like you know, this picture looks good and what you want to do now is um, download the PNG file because it's HD and we're gonna save it um, on our desktop since it's for our small tutorial so we're gonna open it and ex export to the Photoshop then what you want to do is click Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy it then here we're gonna create a new layer let's go just big it doesn't really matter and paste the picture that we just copied is here and how can you see it's kind of bigger than the picture so what you want to do is click ctrl T <coughs> I mean hold and then hold shift and make it smaller so let's make it like almost by the size of the text <coughs> sorry I'm a bit sick today so after we're done resizing it <coughs> excuse me we're gonna click enter and then move it a bit closer to each other yeah, let's do this and let's do the um, let's put some effects on our logo um, on our text I meant so I want to put some drop shot because drop shot is always good don't put too much you can also choose I mean change opacity if you want and whatever we can the granite overlay is pretty good feature as well but I don't think you'll need it because we want what we want to do is we want just a simple um, basic logo because um, when you do your logo people don't really like it to look fancy because like if you see right now it's really simple you have a car which means like your blog is about cars and just uh, the name of the website 
from the link. And if you want to put some more effects um, or more icons, what we can do, uh, we can search for, let's say, just effects. PNG. <coughs> And we can choose something like this and put on our picture. So, um, let's see what we can find. I love Google. You can choose any pictures and use it on yours because nobody will care about it. And yeah, so let's. I'm gonna take this one and save on our desktop. And where is it? We can export it on Photoshop again. Control A. Let's close it on it. We don't need it either. And Control B. Then we're gonna resize it just a bit. Like yeah. Whoa, whoa. We need it to be the same size as the picture, so it will be full HD. I can put it right here, or actually, yeah, let's put it right here. And how can you see? It's like on top of the uh, letters. So what you want to do? Just move this behind it. So how can you see? It looks behind it. And let's put opacity to 85 or something. Yeah. And this is your first logo, and for the first one, it looks pretty good. <coughs> and if you want to. If you really care about the license, uh, you don't want to use like like I did now because I don't think so. we can really really use it. So what you want to do is just go here and choose free or free not for not commercial use or for personal use. I'll go with for free personal use um, and put just the car again. Go hit search and how can you see it's all free for your personal usage and nobody will tell you anything about it and just choose whatever you want and just go with it and this is pretty good good website I really like it and there's really good pictures icons whatever you can really use so yeah that's pretty much about it this is the first tutorial of how to create your logo um, the next one will be more for advanced people how to do it all yourself so yep Thank you for watching, subscribe for my channel if you want, like videos or whatever, have a nice day guys.